Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today. Today guys we're at episode number 7 of the Newcastle Financial Takeover Career Mode in FIFA 20. Now obviously I know I haven't uploaded this video in over a week now um, but I do want to say uh, sorry obviously like I said in the, the video I did upload uh, explaining that I was getting a bit bored of this in terms of the gameplay uh, but I, I've decided to you know I've kind of thought about it and uh, you know as much as I did not wasn't enjoying it I still want to bring you guys the content because there is a lot to do in this save and also you guys were really enjoying it so I am bringing it back um, now obviously today's episode we have got uh, quite a few games. Hopefully, I can get the month of December in today's episode. Um, obviously, I might have to split up the games where I actually play them back to back because obviously it might get a bit boring. But uh, I think um, for now, I can just try and get out this month and then move into the January transfer window and also uh, these big games. That was a big month in January. Uh, so, hopefully, today we can get through these games. We're sat 10th in the league right now um, from the last game. Uh, the last episode so we're, we're sat 10th we're not doing too bad we played 14 1 6 drawn 3 and lost 5 um so we did start to pick it up towards the end of the back end of like the back end episodes um so uh we do we are looking good here's the team for anyone that has forgotten it um because that's been a, over a week nearly two um we are going to use that team against sheffield united we might have to make a few changes though because a few players are on low on fitness but anyway i'm going to just jump straight into it today we're going to just go back to back for games uh hopefully you guys do enjoy the video <clears throat> if you do please leave a like comment your thoughts and opinions on today's episode if you did enjoy it or not uh let me know all the feedback is really um helpful for me uh and make sure to subscribe if you're new around here and let's get into the first game of the episode against sheffield united right then guys moving on into the first game of the episode against sheffield united Hopefully we can carry on. I think from the previous episode we were actually on a really good run. So hopefully we can keep that up in today's episode. Obviously first game against Sheffield United. Not sure where they are in the league to be honest. I should have probably checked that before the game started. But hopefully we can get a win. Um, so let's go. Let's see how we get on in today's game. Odin into St. Maxim. Got a bit of space here. Martinez has made that run. Uh, I'm going to try and play it to the back post to Foden. There he is. Bonus Almiron. Almiron scores. 1-0 inside 8 minutes. Almiron absolutely bangs that into the top corner. Lot of space there for Almiron there. Really nice play from Martinez to pick up the ball. Inside 2. Almiron for his 6th goal of the season in the Premier League. Doing really, really well for us. Um, he was playing out wide to start with. And I didn't really enjoy him out there. So... Um, it's definitely helped uh, putting him into the middle of the pitch uh, in behind the striker. So we're one up in the side, 10 minutes. Here comes Sheffield United now on the attack. Goldrick, um, Goldrick down the line to Bulldog. Whips it in. Shelby should get that clear. No, he doesn't. Bug. Oh, straight at the keeper. Easy save for Dubravka there. We've given the, way, uh, we've given the ball away cheaply again. Haven't really settled into this game that... Uh, that well to be honest I know we're one nil up but apart from that early goal we haven't really created much and uh, Sheffield United have um, had a good few chances here McGoldrick good tackle from Charlotte should probably take us to half time and it does Shelby now on the ball Zaro's ahead of him not really many options there we've still got the ball but, oh, Martinez couldn't play the ball through too uh, I think that was Almiron actually making that run through the middle Unlucky once again. St. Maxim now. Can he get the ball? Oh, it's gone out of play for a throw in with Sheffield United. They're on the attack again. Lundstrom plays it down to Bulldog. Back to him. Again, Sheffield United are playing some nice, calm football, but again, we don't really need to worry about that. But then when they do something like that, we um, could get. Someone could have come up with that, but we can get the ball away. Let's see if we can get something out of this. Uh, Almiron Martinez. Martinez. Oh, lovely run. De La Vega's through here. No one really ahead of him, so we're going to have to go alone here. De La Vega, and it's 2-0. Let's go. De La Vega with a lovely run down the line. Brings it inside and smashes it into the top corner. We are going to take Martinez off because he is lacking a bit of fitness. Obviously, there was a few players that had played in the previous game a couple of days before. Um, so, we've actually, we're have actually we going to take him off and rest him for the rest of this game. Now we've gone 2-0 up. Um, like I said... Really, really good goal from De La Vega there. Uh, 
and I think that might be Edgeus just for this game. Uh, but we have to find out and see if we can uh, keep this lead. Is Shelby on the ball? Only really uh, Almer on ahead of him. Foden inside to Luca Bacchio. Can we go back to Foden? Oh, we get tackled there. Here comes Sheffield United now. Konate's got the ball. Yeah, there you go. Bit weird there. He's kind of glitched into him. Almiron slides in. Luca Bacchio. Can he get a goal? Off the bench. Into the top corner. And it's 3 0. We are absolutely smashing Sheffield United away from home. And that was a great finish from uh, the young kids up top. Uh, first goal of the season for him in the Premier League. And that's 66 minutes gone. And we're freeing the up. I think that's game set and match. Luca Bacchio now on the ball, <clears throat> trying to play St. Maxim, who loses the ball. Oh, that's not really a good pass, to be honest. Could have probably done a, something better with that. Sheffield United tries to switch it here, and it goes out of play. I think that will be it for the game, to be honest. 80th minute, they haven't really done anything. I don't even know if they've had a shot on target uh, this game. Almiron, Luca Bacchio. Oh, this could be 4 0 here. Almiron, through on goal, and it's a goal again. Almiron getting the goal. 4-0. I'm going to bring Konate off and bring Lascelles on for the last uh, 10 or so minutes. Uh, again, another player just to rest for the rest of the game. Uh, but 4-0 against Sheffield United. We've absolutely annihilated them today. And this should be... Uh, oh, that is all three points secured. Oh, no. We've given the ball away. McBurney now into Lundstrom. And it's a save by the keeper. Really poor play from me there. I tried to pass my way out when I probably should have just cleared it. Uh, but Phil Foden now, we've got a bit of space. Oh, it's a cracking ball to St. Maxim. Cuts inside. Rainbow flick. Can he get the shot off? St. Maxim! Oh, I think that's a weak foot. I'm not too sure. But the shot was not good at all there. And that's going to be uh, that's gonna be full time eventually. Keeper's going to take the goal kick. I don't know how much out of time it is because it's blanked out there. I don't know why it's not showing up. Uh, but I think we're... Yeah, two minutes ahead of time. Anyway, that's the end of the game. What a win that is, by the way. 4-0. <clears throat> really, really good win. Uh, let's jump into the next game of the episode. All right, then, guys. Next game is at home, back at St. James's Park. We're against Southampton. Uh, a tough game. Uh, well, expected to be a tough game. Uh, well, after that last game against Sheffield United, I uh, will... I'm kind of uh, a bit... Intrigued to see what will happen because we did dominate the last game and uh, we nearly get a chance there with Martinez But we were unlucky to not get the head uh, on the end of that Foden now Somar is back in the team Martinez can we get a shot off Martinez saved by gun It's a great effort I'm gonna whip this one in Konate is the target he gets the heads and it's well over the bar well wide um, we're on now in a decent bit of space. Gonna wait for the run of Della Vega on the right hand side. Oh, it's a great touch. Can he find someone? Oh, St. Maxim was arriving late. Can we win the header here? Rose into Foden. Almiron. Oh, that's a great bit of play. Oh, St. Maxim can't get on the end of it. Somar. Foden. Bit of space. Can he get the shot off now? Foden. Ah, oh, straight at the keeper. Whipped in from Danny Ings there. Good defending from Konate. So Maxim, I don't know what that header was. He just completely missed the ball. Oh, we couldn't. Oh, we've been given the ball here. Martinez. I'm trying to run so Mac St. Maxim runs like that. There we go. Now we're down the line. St. Maxim's got the pace against the defenders. He's going to go all the way. Can he cut it back to. Oh, that was a really bad pass from St. Maxim. We've still got a throw in, though. We'll play that to Somar, Foden, Almiron. Almiron, ah, oh, he's got tackled there, but Della Vega's won it back. Foden's making the run. Can he get the shot away? Oh, what a goal from Phil Foden. It's 1-0 to the mighty Newcastle. Phil Foden getting the goal. Lovely little dummy there from Latoura Martinez. And I don't know, that's, okay, it's his second goal. I thought it might have been his first goal of the season, but nonetheless, we are 1-0 up against Southampton. Almiron, inside to Phil Foden. Slide that one through to the Martinez. Can he turn and shoot? He's still got the ball. Foden. St. Maxim's there. Danny Rose on the wing. Going to try and cross one in. That's a great ball to the back post. Foden! Oh, defender does enough to get ball back to the keeper there. 
We've started this game really, really well. We've had a lot of chances. We could easily be about 4-0 up uh, in the first half. We're only 1-0 though. Um, Southampton, to be honest, they haven't really done much in this game. Um, let's see if we can play out uh, just till half time here. Here comes Southampton on the attack. Ball played back inside. Oh, that's a great ball. Back post is not covered. Ings cuts it back. Armstrong. Oh, straight to the Bravka. And that should take us through to half time. Oh, Martinez. No, Martinez is going to get on the end of this. Martinez. Oh, it's at the post. No way. Just before half time. The Bravka could have got an assist there. Anyway, half time. Let's move into the second half. Martinez, oh that's a cracking ball, oh here we go, Almiron, Almiron bursting through, going to cut inside to his left, finesse around the keeper, oh my god what a save from Gunn, Almiron should be burying that, I'm going to whip it in with Almiron, keeper's there, but Lascelles, is that Lascelles, oh it's Martinez, I don't know why I said Lascelles, he's not even on the pitch, Latoura Martinez getting another goal, That I wonder how far over the line it was, let's see, I know obviously it was a goal because the ball's, um, it's gone over the line and uh, that's not over the line but I think it's going to roll through that's that's not over that's not over the line I don't think that's all, the whole ball is not over the line from what they've just shown in that goal line decision the whole ball didn't never went over the the line there the whole ball didn't go I mean quite controversial there um but anyway we'll take it with 2-0 up here comes Southampton down the wing Canate, that's a great challenge. A bit risky going to ground there, to be honest, but um, I don't really mind. We've got come away with the ball. De La Vega and Martinez out to De La Vega. And a cut inside with him. Oh, lovely. He's actually really, really good since he's joined us. Oh, lovely bit of play. Can he get the shot away? Straight at the keeper, though. Corner now. Can we get another controversial goal? Martinez? Oh, it's just wide. Jolinton, fresh on the pitch. Jolinton goes for the shot. Oh, what a goal. Jolinton, he's absolutely drilled that into the top corner. That is literally his first, like, 10 touches of the game. He just come on as a sub. The poor clearance from the keeper. Uh, we win the ball with Luca Bacchio, who also has just come on. The two subs that have just literally come on as we ended that highlight have come on. And Jolinton's just absolutely smashed that into the top corner. It's 3-0. Yulinton inside. Yulinton's fresh on the pitch. I'm going to try and take it around the defender. Oh, what's he doing there? Yulinton still got the ball. Yulinton! Oh, it's saved onto the post from Gunn. How many saves has Gunn made this uh, this game? A bang shot. Oh, we couldn't get the get the goal there, but we've got another corner. I'm going to do the same thing with Shelby. Whoops it in. Yulinton's there. Back post is Luca Bacchio. He couldn't get his head onto the end of that. And Southampton coming away. Five or so minutes left of this game. Shah, I think this is chasing the ball. Lovely play from Shah. Mankilo to Luca Bacchio, who is out on this right hand side. Bursting away. Can he cut it back? Oh, I couldn't get the ball to uh, Martinez there. Shelby into Yolinton. Martinez. Luca Bacchio. Can he cut it back for Martinez? Can he get a shot away? Oh, straight at the keeper again. And that's going to take us to the last minute or so of the game. I don't think there's going to be another chance for either team. But we can obviously try. Your Linton is there. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. But he's won the ball back again. Your Linton is having a great game since he's come on. And then he does that. But St. Maxim still got the ball. St. Maxim saved. Look at Bacchio. Oh, my God. What is happening? That's going to be game over. Oh, my God. What a game this was. 3-0 to uh, Newcastle. Uh, a lovely game, to be honest. Couldn't have gone any better. Uh, we're going to move on into the next game of the episode. Right then, guys. Moving on into the third game of the episode. We are on fire this episode. Martinez at the front of the pack against Burnley. Away from home. A tough ground to go to. Can we see if we can pull off a victory? Here come Burnley now. Barnes. Oh, no. We missed the tap. Oh, wow. I don't know what happened there. We got pretty lucky there because we missed the tackle with Conate. De La Vega, oh, can't get round Peters there. McNeil, Brown Hill, back down the line. McNeil whips it in, blocked by Somar, but he's still got the ball somehow. 
whipped into the back post. Bravgast to make the save. Almer on now. The push away from, I don't know who that what actually was. Play St. Maxim, overlapping on the wing. St. Maxim, can he cut inside? Can he get the shot away? Oh, he's at the post. And it's back to Nick Pope. What a chance that was to go one nil up. Here come, oh no, here come Burnley. Mankilo should get rid of that. Oh, we've lost the ball, Ashley Barnes. Played it in, saved. Keeper, can he get the rebound? Oh my God, we got lucky there. Almer on now, into Somar, and he switched the play, oh he couldn't, Burnley now on the attack, Peters down to McNeil I think this is, good tackle from Aquilo. throw into Burnley, ball inside now, Cork out to McNeil, ball's whipped in really deep and St Maxim can actually just pick that up, into Martinez now, not really got many players ahead of him, the only one is St. Maxim. Oh, he's not, not really got the ball where I want it to go, but we've got away from the defender. St. Maxim. Play it inside. Martinez is there, and he gets the shot, and it's 1-0 to the mighty Newcastle again. Latoura Martinez is on fire this episode, and that makes it 1-0. St. Maxim doing a lovely bit of uh, work down the left-hand side, and Martinez puts us 1-0 up against Burnley. Almiron, lovely burst of pace, but unfortunately couldn't quite get close enough to goal to have a shot. Martinez, this lovely work from him, and then he loses it straight away. But De La Vega's won it back. Almiron bursting through. Oh, I've probably dragged that a bit too wide. Whips it into St. Maxim at the back post. Ah, oh, couldn't get my head onto that. Ball's whipped in. Martinez is there. Martinez! Oh, we should be scoring that. We're going to bring Christian Atsu on for Almiron just to... Uh, Give him a bit of a break. Martinez down to De La Vega. Can he get past Peters? He can. Going to wait for Martinez to come across. Martinez! And it's another goal. It's his second of the game. Martinez. Lovely, lovely bit of work from De La Vega down the wing. And it's a perfect goal. To probably end off the game there in the 67th minute. 2-0 now against Burnley. Oh no, that's a great ball, but Goodisman has lost it. Shah, not really sure what I'm doing there. Burnley have got a chance and they've scored. Ashley Barnes has scored. They're going to bring Shelby on to replace Foden. That's really poor defending from me at the back. Complete error at the back from Shah. I don't know what I was trying to do here, trying to dribble my way out, and it didn't work. They got a bit lucky with that bounce there. But that's 2-1. Maybe this game's not over just yet. Martinez, a fresh Leon Atsu, probably taking it around too much, oh, around the keeper, Atsu, ah, oh, he's just lost out at the end there, got a throw in though, De La Vega now, Shelby is on the edge of the box, oh, that's a poor pass from De La Vega, trying to do a bit too much there, I think, Danny Rose now, gonna have to run all the way out to the winger, high press from Danny Rose of all people, are they gonna keep this in? Whips into the back post. Konate. Oh my god, what was that? Bicycle kick clearance. Didn't really need that. De La Vega now. Is that another bad pass from him? It is. Westwood now. Danny Rose. Ah, should have been winning the ball there. Danny Rose. Oh, great defending from Rose. St. Maxim. Oh, he's just not got the legs to get the ball. St. Maxim tracking back. Really, really intense finish to this game. Last, Probably the last attack for Burnley to get an equaliser. Danny Rose can clear. And I think that's going to be all she wrote for this game. Long. Back to the keeper. And that's full time. What a win that is for us. Did get a little bit of a scare there with Ashley Barnes' goal. But now another win in the banks. And we're going to move on into the next game of the episode. Right then guys. Moving on into our fourth game of the episode. A jam-packed game so far. Um, episode so far. Uh, we're playing against Palace at home. Uh, I mean, to be honest, the form that we've had in this episode is very, very good. We're up to about 7th now in the league uh, from 10th at the start of the episode. So all I can hope is that we can uh, carry this on in this game. Because obviously the next two games are a bit more difficult. We've got uh, United away from home and then we have Everton, I think, at home. I'm not too sure about those two. Uh, but two big games coming up towards uh, the back end of December. 
So, let's see how we get on in this game. Martinez now, Almiron into Martinez. Can he dummy that? Cuts back, Almiron. No, Martinez, sorry. He's missed anyway, but uh, comfortable save for the keeper there. St. Maxim now in a dangerous position. Oh, he's gone all the way. Can he get the shot away? Oh, it's at the post and gone in. St. Maxim with the goal. I thought I messed that up there. I was trying to aim for the far post. And for some reason, it's gone near post. But we will take that every day of the week. Alan St. Maximin with the goal. Top corner, off the post. Say what you want, if it was a bit lucky or not. But we're on the up against Crystal Palace. Manquilo on the overlap from De La Vega. Going to wait to whip the ball in. St. Maxim's at the back post. Couldn't get his head onto it. Last five minutes of the half here. Sharp. Oh, misses the tackle. And, oh, no. Andre Ayew. Or Jordan Ayew through. And he's tried to chip the keeper from there. Way too far out for the chip there. And we can counter-attack here with Foden. Oh, lovely bit of play from Foden. St. Maxim. Look at the pace on him. Look at the pace. Going to cut it back. Oh, Foden. Oh, no. If the cutback was what I wanted in the original plan, I think we would have scored there. Somar into Almiron. Almiron goes for the shot, and I think Foden's going to be offside, but it doesn't matter because it's going to be half time. And that's the half time whistle. Lovely ball into Luca Bacchio, fresh on the pitch. Oh, you know who we see back post. We see Yolinton. Yolinton heads it, hits the crossbar. No! That would have been game over. We still got a chance though. Luca Bacchio inside. Foden. Christian Atsu. Can he get the shot away? Blocked by the defender. And it's out by Joel Wards. Nearly 10 minutes left. Got another chance. In us. Atsu. Martinez. Somar. Going to go for the long shot again. Oh, Martinez has blocked it. But we've still got the ball. Christian Atsu heads it. Oh, it's straight at the keeper. Keeper should get this one. Oh no, Dubravka's completely messed that one up. We're lucky because Crystal Palace are shocking at the crosses. Uh, or have been this game. So we've been um, lucky in that department. Otherwise, it could be a very different... It could be could have been a different story um, on the scoreline. But, you know, we've still got a chance to score or concede. As Mayer's kept the ball in. Plays it across. And Canate gets rid of it. And uh, Foden now into Martinez. Can Luca Bacchio? Oh my god, he can't even find the pass. Inside, are you? Down the line. Danny Rose, that's a great challenge. It's up for a corner. We're into added time now. Who's Jeffrey Schlips on the corner? Two added minutes. Ball's whipped in towards the back stick. Your Linton gets his head onto it. Mayer, Van Anholt, Martin Kelly. Martin Kelly goes for the shot. Oh, he's put it wide. That was the chance to get the point. And they've messed it up. That should be game over now. Out from Dubravka. Martinez wins a header. And that's game over. What a win. That was a lot harder than the previous games we played today. 1-0. We didn't have many chances this game. And Palace had a lot of chances. So we, we got pretty lucky to take all three points. Anyway, we're going to move on into the next game against United. Right then, guys. This is going to be a big test in our episode today against man united um i have upped the difficulty to legendary now i do feel like it was getting a bit easy on world class you know we did start off with legendary we did struggle then we went down to world class and uh, started to get used to playing against the ai again and i do believe that but going up to legendary will help me uh, in terms of how hard it will be against the uh, ai so hopefully uh, you guys are happy with that because I do I do feel like the last, um, especially the last four games we've literally just played, I do feel like they um, were a bit easy. Um, but I did really enjoy playing today, uh, or so far. We've still got another game after this one. Um, if I'm going to be honest with you, I did, I did really enjoy, or I have really enjoyed playing so far today. Uh, and like I mentioned in my previous video, I didn't really uh, enjoy playing Korean Red anymore. And that should be offside. Rashford's through. And that's a good save from Dubravka because he wasn't actually offside. Um, and I can already tell this does feel a bit difficult or a bit more harder. Um, but hopefully we can carry on doing what we've been doing this episode. Um, but anyway, let's see how we get on against United. Here comes Dan James all the way down the line. The pace is just unbelievable from Dan James there. Williams. Oh, God, that's not good for me. Bruno Fernandes. 
now St. Maxim don't really know okay it's a really good play from St. Maxim right Almiron good ball Martinez De La Vega Bowden could play that out to Manquilo. can he play it out to De La Vega yes he can and he cut this one inside Eric Baez left him De La Vega can he get the shot oh my god what was that Rashford now down the left hand side inside to Bruno Fernandes now Fred on the ball inside to Fernandes good block from Konate out to Dallo good tackle from De La Vega it's gone out for a corner to United whips in oh who's that Dzeko of all people Dan James blocked Dzeko ah it's a goal from Man United tough one to take because I thought we dealt with that pretty well then see on the replay Dan James and we just missed the ball with Martinez there unfortunately 1-0 to Man United now Samar now on the ball Foden slowly but surely getting our way forward here Almiron Martinez oh, I was trying to play it back to uh, Almiron there Foden I was trying to do a fake shot, couldn't get the ball away. I can definitely tell it's a lot harder than uh, world class at the moment to create chances. Um, so to be fair, I think I'm going to stick with Legendary just to see in the next few games as Rashford's lovely play from Shah to get the ball back. Um, just because I feel like it's, a, it's much more um, rewarding if we get a win or a goal uh, playing on Legendary. That should be a free kick for us. Because um, I think world class was getting a bit too easy. Uh, we're going to bring Shelby on for Phil Foden here. Uh, about half an hour left in the game. We are chasing the game, but like we said, we've still got plenty of time to uh, get a goal. Slide that through. Martinez has to cut it back. Martinez saved Shelby to finish it. Shelby, oh no, we should have scored. A free kick now in a dangerous position. We'll bring Luca Bacchio on for Martinez. Martinez not really... Um, he hasn't really done much this uh, this game. I'm going to bring a, a second player over. Just going to lay this one off. Going to turn. Konate of all people. Didn't really want it to be him. Shelby now. Oh, trying to keep the ball. Fabian Shah loses it. I'm going to have to chase it back with Mankilo to get this. Probably only got like a couple more chances of this game. Try and get something back. Bit of space here for Almiron. Shelby now. It's a decent looking ball. Can we place it Maxim? Nice bit of pace from St. Maxim. Needs someone to square it to. Luca Bacchio, he couldn't get the shot away. I don't know why I tried to touch the ball there. Because his first touch was awful. I should have gone for the first time shot. But, again, that's another chance which we should be taking there. Get ourselves back into this game. Bruno Fernandes now in a dangerous position. Canate, I mean, oh my god, it's offside. But he did enough to strap Martial there. Here comes Shelby now. Plays it to Almiron. A lot of space here for Almiron. We'll play it back to him. Oh, Almiron through. No! Fred makes a last ditch interception. Dallo has the ball now. Fred. Pogba now on the ball. Man United are playing some good football here. Rashford against Konate. Dallo, Rashford again. Plays it back to Dallo. We just can't seem to get the ball off United at the moment. Oh, Konate, lovely. Can't get rid of it, though. Bruno Fernandes. Konate, great defending from him. Almiron. Play it back to Almiron. Almiron. Need some options in front of me. Don't really have many. I need someone to run ahead of me. Luca Bacchio. He's not going to make that, though, is he? And that's going to be the end of the game. Unfortunately, we do lose our first game of the episode against a strong United team. So I can't really complain. Um, but we're going to move on into the final game of this episode against Everton. Right then, guys. Moving on into the final game of the episode against an Everton side, which I do believe are around the same position as us. I haven't actually checked the table since the start of the episode. So... Uh, we'll do that after this game, but hopefully we can um, bounce back from that United loss uh, and win against here. Um, win against Everton, sorry. Um, we do uh, make two changes to the side. Um, 
uh, Luca Bacchio and Foden come out of the team. Oh, Luca Bacchio comes in for De La Vega and uh, Shelby starts ahead of Foden just because of the fitness um, levels. Because obviously we've only had a couple of days break since the last game. Uh, so that's why I've made those changes. Anyway, let's see if we can bounce back and get a win. Uh, we're starting off pretty positively here. Almiron bursting into the pitch. Oh, I didn't mean that. Can we get a shot off here? Almiron. Oh, it's just wide. Slides it into... Oh, my God. There's about 20 players there just ran into each other. Luca Bacchio has picked up the ball. Somar. Oh, I tried to slide that through to Martinez. Didn't work. I've completely missed time that tackle. Konate, though. Absolute powerhouse. Gets it off for Charleston. We've got the ball back, though. Somar. Martinez. That's a lovely turn. Almiron's through on goal. And it's straight at Pickford. Makes the save, though. Whips it in. St. Maxim. Martinez, again, not great. Gonna whip that one in. Martinez, damn it. Should have probably done better there. Can we get the ball back from Moise Keane? Sidibe. It's a great tackle. Are we going to get the ball back? Sidibe is going to play the long ball and he's well offside. <laughs> Shelby in a lot of space here. Almiron. Somar's made a lovely run, and so is Martinez. Martinez gets the shot away. It's Pickford again with the save. We whip that one in. St. Maxim. Martinez is there. Couldn't get the heads to the ball there. Danny Rose has to chase down Moise Keane. Moise Keane coming inside. Oh, no. Should get that with Shelby, and we do. Oh, no. What a terrible pass that is. Richarlison now. Great tackle from Manquillo. Win the ball back. Shelby's in a lot of space. So is Martinez. Ah, oh, been tackled there, unfortunately. Martinez makes the run. Martinez. Can he cut it back to someone? Luca Bacchio's there. Cuts it inside. Cuts back out. Oh, what am I doing there? Oh, no. Moise Keane. Through on goal. Ponate has to make the run back. Misses him. Richarlison. Oh, we missed the slide tackle as well. Walcott. Danny Rose misses it. Back post. What a save from Dubravka. Oh, my God. What a save. And Martinez now. What a touch that is, by the way. Almiron's through. 1-2 with Martinez. Shelby now. Need that support. There's not really much ahead of us. and We've lost the ball there. It's actually going to be a free kick, so we're going to play this one quick. Almiron's there. Oh, lovely little flick from him. Martinez. Luca Bacchio. Oh, what a tackle from Digne. Martinez. Oh, that's a lovely bit of play from Martinez. Can he get away from Mina? Yes, he can. It's Pickford again. Oh, my days. He might have a chance to be bad, but Pickford has been in the way of all of them. Not a great corner, to be fair. We're going to get the ball back. Here we are. Maxim. Oh, Almiron plays that to Luca Bacchio. Martinez is there. Oh, no, we couldn't get the ball to him. And here come Everton. Just before the half-time break. Walcott now down the line inside. He goes to Gomez. Gomez. Richarlison. Should be able to get this one out. Oh, no, Walcott. Walcott. He cuts it back. And will be at the back post? No. Just as it's about to be half-time. We can see late on. Oh, that's really annoying because we have literally dominated this game and that's half time. Here come Everton now. Ball's whipped into Gomez. Shah deals with it. Oh, that's a terrible clearance. What am I doing there? I was trying to play it, uh, St. Maxim on the wing. Here we go, St. Maxim inside. That's a shocking pass. I don't know. I put a lot of power into that pass. I'm not too sure what's happened there. Konate has to get that and he does. Great defending. Rose. Samar. That's a good ball to Martinez. Lovely bit of dribbling as well. Almiron. Not really many uh, people ahead of him. Oh, Almiron. Almiron's waiting for that run of Martinez. Martinez, can he get the shot away? It's 1-1. Um, Almiron and uh, Martinez together have been absolutely amazing in today's episode. Lovely bit of play from Almiron. That's a great finish. I'm going to bring Foden on, though, because Al Almiron is pretty tired. Um, 58 minutes gone. 1-1 now. 
Lovely interception from Samar St. Maxim. 1-2 with Martinez. Not really many options ahead of me now. Rose is making a run down the left-hand side. Walcott is very quick compared to Rose. St. Maxim. Samar. Bill Foden. Bill Foden. Oh, I couldn't really get anything away there. I was trying to look for the gap for the shot. Manquillo now out of position. Luca Digne back inside. I might have to bring another sub on in the minute. Shelby has had a really good game in centre mid. I'm going to wait for that run. Luca Bacchio now. Need some options. Lovely bit of play from Manquillo. Oh, I was trying to play in the Alma on there. Unfortunately, oh, look at the gap we've made. Here, yeah, Walcott. Shah's going to have to come across. Walcott now. Sadiwe, Walcott. Shah. Oh, no. What have I done there? What have I done there? Richardson whips it in. Awobi is again at the back post. Oh, no. I'm going to bring Atsu on. But that is not good play for me at all. Poor defending. And it's probably going to cost us the game there. 2 1 now to Everton. Here comes Sadiwe. Added time now. We need to get the ball back now if we want to get a chance. And unfortunately, that's not going to happen. We're not going to have enough time to get the ball up the pitch. Oh, we've given it away. Oh, what are we doing? That's game over, unfortunately. Not going to be able to get a chance. Get rid of it. I mean, what? Oh, ah, no way. We've lost 2-1. Two, two Awobi back post goals. Seals it for Everton there. Unfortunately, that's two defeats in a row now. We are going to go check the league table now and see what that means for us for the end of this episode. I'm not too sure whereabouts we are. We were floating around the seventh position, but with that, with those two losses, that's probably set us back a fair bit. We are sat in eighth position right now, so we are creeping towards a Europa League spot at the moment. As you can see, everyone's played 20 games. We're on 8th uh, eight, yeah, eight position. So, anyway, we're, we're doing much better than what we were. Um, and this is going to be the end of the episode, guys. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like on the like button. Comment down below your thoughts and opinions on the video, good or bad, to let me know how you guys are enjoying or not enjoying this series. And uh, make sure to subscribe if you are new around here. Uh, I had really, I really had a lot of fun uh, recording today's episode. So, make sure to smash the like button, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace!